Good day everyone, so last video we've already talked about one data type so far which is strings. Now I want to talk about numbers in this tutorial and that encompasses actually two data types. The first data type is known as integers and the second data type is floats. Now the difference being the integers are whole numbers and floats contain decimals. So for example, I could have a variable called radius and set that equal to 25 and that would be an integer because it is a whole number now if i had a different variable i'm going to call this pi and say that you go to 3.14 that there my friends is a float sometimes you hear this called as a double as well and it's just because it has a decimal point in it okay so anything with a decimal point is a float Anything that's whole number is an integer or an int. So they are the two different data types in PHP. Now then I want to talk a little bit about the different things we can do with these numbers such as math and different functions. So if we're performing math, we have some basic operators and those basic operators are things like divided, subtracting, multiplying, and etc. So to multiply, we do a little asterisk. To divide, we do a forward slash. To add, we do a plus sign. To minus, we do a hyphen. And to find the power of, we do a little power of. Okay then, so we just want to make a quick interjection because I just said that this was to find the power of something is actually not the symbol in PHP. Sometimes we are using a double asterisk. I've been using a Google calculator too. Often we do like this 5 then upper power of 3 to find the power of. So we're in PHP, we actually use double asterisk. So now if we use this, we can say something like echo and then pi and times the radius to the power of 2. That's the formula for the area of a circle, right? If we save this echo, and if we save this and echo this out, then we should see this in the browser. 1960, 2.5. Okay, so slight little error there, but anyway on the video, the second thing I wanted to show you is not really PHP specific. It's more math is specific and it's the order of operations so you may or may not have learned this in the school as I did and we refer to it as bid mass so B I D M A S so when performing any kind of calculation then we do it in this order of operation so first of all if there's any brackets inside an equation or a calculation we execute the stuff inside the bracket and first of all then if there's any indices which of these things a power of that comes second in the calculation then if there's any division that comes to third then any multiplication that comes to fourth then addition is in fifth and in sixth is subtraction okay so let's do a little example here if we say echo and we're going to echo two times and then in brackets four plus nine and then over three so in what order would this be executed and do we do times four then plus nine then divided by three well no uh, we don't because remember bit mass first comes brackets so we actually perform this calculation so first we do 4 plus 9 which is 13 then the next one along is division so we do 13 over 3 which is something I'm not quite sure and uh, then we times it by 2 at the end which is multiplication okay so that's the last one in the chain in this equation so let's save that and view it in a browser and we see this value right there so that's just a little bit about the order of operation again if you've done much then you probably know all about that and I'm wasting your time but I wanted to put it across just in case you're writing out any kind of equation and you don't get the result that you think you should and you're aware of this okay then so the next thing I'd like to show you are the increment and decrement operator okay so let's do a lot of comment increment and decrement operators like so and these are a way to either add values to numbers or minus values for numbers so say for example I wanted to add 1 to this the radius then I could say you know uh, radius plus 1 right and that would do the trick However, I can also radius plus plus and that does the same thing this here uh, This double plus is an increment operator and 
it just adds 1 to the radius. So if I echo this now, then it should be the radius 25 added to an extra 1 which is 26. So let's save this and let's preview and we get the 25 and that's because it's echoing this before it does this operation. Now if I echo radius again after this then we should get 26. The second time around refresh we get 25 then 26. And that's because now this has completed. Okay so we have the same for hyphen. I could change this to a hyphen instead. So save that and we should get 25 then 24. Okay so that's increment and decrement operators. We just comment those things out and I would like to show you some shorthand operators. Okay, so like we had this kind of like a sh shorthand for hyphen and here for other things as well. Now the first thing I'm going to do is make a new variable. I'm going to call this age and set it equal to 20. Now say I want to add 10 to the age. Well, I could do this. I could say age is equal to age plus 10, right? and that would update the age but there's a shorthand for this i could say age plus equals 10 and that takes the current value of age and adds 10 to it so this is the shorthand operator for that so if i now echo the age save it and refresh we should see 30. okay so that's a shorthand operator for adding something to a variable now if i wanted to have fun instead then that should be 20 minus 10 and that should be 10 left over right so let's do the other things like multiply so i could say age and then multiply multiply equals to 2 and that takes the current value of age and it multiplies it by 2. i'm going to this one out first of all so we should get that and then times it by 2 and it should be 40 right so save that and preview and we get 40 and again this is just the same as saying age is now equal to age times 2. So updating we're overriding the variable right? So exactly the same thing. All we're doing is removing this stuff right here and then putting equals after the operator that we want to use. So there's some shorthand operators that we can use. And finally, what I'd like to do is show you some different function that we can use with numbers as well. And by the way, I'm kind of speeding through this a little bit, but this is the very basics. And we're going to be repeating this a lot as we go through the course and using them in different ways. So this is just to give you the foundation if, if you like. Okay, so don't worry if you're not picking up absolutely everything. Remembering everything is not the goal here. It's just to show you how these different things work. So anyway, let's go to the number functions. Now that the first thing I'd like to do is a function called a floor. And we'll pass in a variable pi, which we defined up here. And so what this floor function does is take in a number or a float and it flows that to the nearest integer. So for example, this would be floored to 3 because it's 3.14. If it was 7.14, it would be flowed to 7. Okay, so we should see if we save this now. Okay, 3 and echoed to the browser. So let's try to save and preview and we see 3. And alright then. The next one I'm going to show you is a function called seal and that does exactly the opposite. So echo and then seal, C-E-I-L, short for sealing. And then we'll do pi again and what does this is take the value and move it up to the nearest integer. So that will become 4. So it takes it to the ceiling so let's save this again, preview on the browser and now we see 4. Okay. So one more function I want to show you and this function doesn't actually take parameter. It does is uh, return a number to us. So I could say echo which is a function and that actually gets us the value for pi. So not this small value which we created ourselves. It's actually built into the language and this function returns as that value. So if we save it now we should see a longer version of pi right there. Okay, so that my friends is uh, numbers in a nutshell. We have integers, whole numbers, floats, we have the different basic operators, the order of operation, we have the increment and decrement operators, and we have 
a shorthand operators as well which are these things and we also have several functions not just this ones by the way to loads of different functions that we can use on numbers and again we are going to be using different functions for this and strings as well as we go through the rest of this course so hopefully that gives you a good grounding now in numbers and strings so the next data type i'd like to talk about is called arrays and we'll do that in the next video